Hey folks, here at OS Reviews, you're watching our retro unboxing and first look at the Omron Pocket Pedometer. In general, these pocket pedometers are a thing of the, of the past, at least the title is. Uh, this one actually came out almost a decade ago, but what makes it a little bit more interesting is that it supports PC syncing. So it was also kind of advanced at the time, and the equivalent today would might be a fitness tracker or a smartwatch that gives us details about our movements, our calories burned, and even sleep tracking from modern day fitness trackers. But obviously this one is a lot more limited, but at least it does sync up to PCs. You can see it supports Windows 2000 or Windows X so it really shows its age, but it can be clipped onto a pocket, shows your steps on an LCD display, and otherwise you can see that it's called the most quote advanced pocket pedometer, aka fitness tracker, shows you with a USB connection and PC software, days, weeks, months, and years of exercises count steps, remembers dates, has a clock, separately counts aerobic steps, measures distance, calories burned, and there's also a health management software that tracks your progress. Uh, but you can kind of see in the back, very, very reminiscent of a lot of apps that we have on our smartphones today. So again, it required all of these things for your computer. There was probably a CD-ROM included in here as well for installing it, so we'll see if that still works. Uh, seven day history, so it records that memory period before it removes it and resets it. And then dual way, so you can clip it on or carry it using this lanyard strap. So let's open this up, it's using this very cumbersome packaging style that is hard to really open up all at once, but we'll try and use scissors to cut at it. Really, this is a horror mission accomplished. And inside, there is the tracking device, the pocket pedometer, aka fitness tracker. If we remove this pamphlet, underneath there is the sync cable, which is just using mini USB. So that was the previous generation standard. Uh, sadly, I think this one is using a cell based battery as opposed to a rechargeable one. But here is the lanyard strap that you can clip on if you don't want to put it in your. Uh, you know, clipped onto a belt all the time. And the battery itself is using a CR2032 3 volt battery, which is extremely standard. At least these are fairly generic and cheap. And I've got actually rechargeable ones that I reviewed a few years back. So this should be fine as far as power management. Here we have a product registration card. So probably outdated extremely now. And a CD ROM. Haven't seen one of these in such a long time, bundled with, well, any electronic. And here is a full instruction card, and that's that's it. So the card solves documents all the various features, how to open it up, and how to measure your stride length, walking 10 steps, and then dividing it by 10 to calculate that and convert it. You probably have to enter this for the first time to calibrate and get more accurate measurements. So if you have a more low-cost fitness tracker from, from China or Shenzhen that we reviewed a few few months ago, for instance, they actually asked for the same data when you open up the app for the first time. So this is probably going to come in play with either the CD-ROM or with the pedometer itself when we first power it on. And song the software, let's see if that's even possible now, and troubleshooting. So finally, taking a look at just the walking style pedometer, it is made out of plastic, has this clip that is attached to this cradle that can be removed and slid out. And the unit itself is made out of this pretty shiny plastic. It's uh, slightly lighter than I expected. And there is a kind of screen protector attached on the front. There we go. Underneath here, just a traditional LCD display. There's no backlight here, but it shows, our, shows your steps as well as your time and date. There's a set mode memo. And on the back, there's just the battery compartment. And the side here features a lanyard strap. The top features this port. Underneath this rubber flap, you have access, I'm guessing, the mini USB port for syncing data. And that's it. Pretty compact and overall not too bad as far as size is concerned. I have a watch here just to give you guys a brief idea of what might what it might look like next to a similarly sized fitness tracker, for instance. It's not too far off, considering that this one is um, a lot more hollow, but it feels decent as far as construction is concerned. So anyways, that's been our retro unboxing, and we might be coming out with a retro review as well, depending on, uh, we'll see if our schedule has room for that, but we'll keep posted soon. Anyways, this has been the retro look back at the OMRON, the Omron Pocket Pedometer, aka the modern, the old equivalent of a modern fitness tracker.